In this video, we remove the pre-installed bloatware other installers cannot reach. Hello everyone, and welcome to Tech Fix Flicks. In this tutorial, we remove the bloatware pre-installed with Windows. Of course, what constitutes bloatware varies from person to person, and if you find a pre-installed app useful, you'll clearly want to keep it. For the purpose of this video, we're exclusively tackling Microsoft apps, rather than those installed by a device manufacturer or those which we install ourselves. In particular, we're dealing with those Microsoft apps which can't be uninstalled by conventional means. As an example, we can't uninstall the Your Phone app. Right clicking its start menu entry doesn't offer an uninstall option, nor does following its sub menu. Following the app settings, we discover an uninstall option, which is greyed out, and therefore unavailable to us. Under normal circumstances, this represents the end of the line for removing many apps, leaving them occupying both a position on our start menu, and valuable storage space on our drive. We therefore turn to Bloatbox, a lightweight and straightforward utility, which can be obtained from the link shown on screen now, and in the written description accompanying this video. At the main page, we scroll down, arriving at the download links, where we click to download the latest release. At the download page, we click to download bloatbox.zip. Our Chrome browser flags up a warning that bloatbox.zip is not commonly downloaded, and may be dangerous. Whilst warnings of this type should always be given due consideration, in this instance the phrase not commonly downloaded is key. As this is a relatively unknown app, its lack of popularity is the issue here, rather than any lack of trustworthiness. In Chrome, we click the upward pointing arrow, which inverts downward, and from the menu which appears, we select the option to keep. With the small download now complete, we once again click the downward pointing arrow to reveal the menu, from which we choose the option to show in folder. The downloaded zip file is shown in our downloads folder, and we therefore need to extract its content. We right click, selecting the option to extract all. We can select an extraction location, or simply accept the default. With the option to show extracted files when complete ticked by default, we click Extract, and our zip file is extracted and opened. We click the Bloatbox app to run it. However, much like our Chrome browser, Microsoft Defender Smart Screen doesn't recognise the app, and again, effectively encourages us not to proceed. However, clicking More Info reveals a small amount of further detail, and presents the option to run anyway, which we select. The main application window now launches. At this juncture, we experienced a significant issue which may or may not apply to you. In order to present our video to you in a format which is relatively easy to read, we scale our display to 150% of normal scaling. However, at this magnification, the uninstall button which should be visible here is absent. Even when we hide the taskbar using taskbar settings, the button still remains unseen. We therefore right click on our desktop, and select display settings, selecting the drop down menu for scale and layout. We move from our scale setting of 150% to 100%. Now, we rerun the Bloatbox application, crucially revealing the uninstall button. With that issue resolved, we now view the application window as intended. The list on the left shows all of the apps which can be removed using Bloatbox, and this represents the full list. Any app not listed here will need to be removed by other means. If we click Add All, all apps jump to the column to be removed. At this stage, nothing is removed until we click the Uninstall button, which is why we couldn't proceed without it. Clicking Remove All removes all apps from the removal list, returning them to the list of apps which will remain installed. As an alternative means of selection, we can hold Control while selecting individual entries, then click Add Selected, to move only the selected apps to the list for removal. Again, we're not looking to remove these apps, so we return them to the main list by clicking Remove All. Having reviewed our options, let's actually remove an app, in this case the Your Phone app which we identified at the beginning of the video. With the app highlighted, we click Add Selected, moving the app to the list to be removed. We click Uninstall, and our options are momentarily greyed as processing takes place. We receive confirmation of successful removal, and we see that your phone no longer appears in our list of apps. It also no longer appears in the start menu. In the event that we subsequently regret our decision to uninstall, there's a way to restore it, by launching the Microsoft Store app from the start menu, using the search facility at the storefront to perform a search for the your phone app. We select the app to visit its store page, then click on Get, which commences the download. Once complete, we're notified that the product has been installed, and given the opportunity to launch immediately. 
From the start menu, we can scroll through our app list to reveal that the app is once again available to launch from here. Don't forget to check out our back catalogue and subscribe for our future projects. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please consider subscribing by clicking the logo on screen now. If you'd like to see more, there are two suggestions currently on screen. If you have a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. You're also welcome to follow us on Twitter. Until your next tech fix, goodbye.